Across the water from Hong Kong is Dongguan, a Chinese city not as well known as Beijing and Shanghai, but one that has earned a reputation for being the world's factory and more recently for producing robotics and automated parts. Now, Dongguan has a new claim to fame, a massive 25,000 people site recreating the architecture of different European cities and a tram that links them together. It's a quaint idea in a country of skyscrapers and a high-speed rail service. But this is the R&D center for Huawei, one of the world's most innovative companies and one of the world's most talked about brands. The US is constantly hurling accusations against us, finding fault with us. But this pushes us to make our products better. This is its founder, Ren Zhengfei, who created Huawei in 1987 with only $5,000 in registered capital. Last year, his company broke $100 billion in annual revenue. Ren is surprisingly approachable. To the consumer, Huawei is known for its watches, tablets, and its smartphones inbuilt with Leica cameras. Last year, it shipped 200 million of those phones, confirming its position as one of the big three global brands with Samsung and Apple. But what has everyone talking about is Huawei's groundbreaking work on AI and 5G. No other company in China or anywhere comes close to creating a world that is truly wireless with low latency and unprecedented speed, a hundred times faster than the 4G we have now. This will be life in real time. This puts Huawei in the same breath as the world's respected super brands. But where it has an edge is on low cost, low price, but not low quality. It is a Chinese innovative brand and a global family with 14 R&D centers, 36 joint innovation centers, and 45 training centers worldwide. Now China's three big telecom operators have all been awarded licenses for 5G. But it's not only in China and it's not just for Chinese. Huawei says it offers the world a truly realized digital era that is smart, connected, and inclusive. This is James Chow for The China Current.